Well, the hottest attraction in baseball in town is on the hottest day of the year. A big crowd turned out for Yankees and Royals at the K. Ryan Kath shows us how the team made sure fans didn't overheat in the fever pitch. Washers flying, drinks tipping back, and grills getting prepped. These fans did not let the triple-digit heat cancel their tailgating festivities. On the pavement, it feels like it's about 150 because my tennis shoes, my brand-new tennis shoes are sticking to the pavement, actually. On an afternoon hot enough to grill the dogs without lighting the charcoal, Julian Hoover and his friends stopped off at the store to load coolers full of water to drink between other cold beverages. Maybe one beer to every water. Staffer Randall Schaefer came prepared to direct traffic for several hours, armed with bottled water tucked into his belt. Just another nice day at the ballpark. <laughs> doesn't phase you a bit, huh? No, it really doesn't, because if you did, you wouldn't do this. Before the game, the director of event operations rode through the parking lot to make sure fans were staying hydrated. Definitely out here on the concrete uh, with the asphalt, it can get up to an additional 10 degrees, what you can feel. Renee says the Royals requested more paramedics for the game. Face, are you aware that we have an ambulance in Lot N? And while we were there, an ambulance showed up for a heat-related call. Inside the ballpark, seats by the fountains or in the shade were the hot ticket. The team put out jugs of free water for fans. Welcome news to this family that traveled from Omaha to see the Yankees and sweat. Lots of snow cones, water. They each had to drink a bottle of water on their way here, so... That's the strategy. Stay cool. At the K with photographer Alavi Miller, Ryan Kath, NBC Action News.